What is happening guys? Welcome back to the channel and to another video on this little caddy mini series. So in the last one you saw we got all the headlines sorted out, the B pillar trims, the back of the B pillar trims and the bulkhead cut down, finished all of that area off and it looked absolutely awesome. Finishes it off really nicely. This episode we're going to be sorting out the floor. Right, floor time. So I've messed around with the floor in the van and made sure I'm happy with things. I've extended a few bits, laid it on top of this piece of 9mm ply. Um, I'm going to now start cutting it out um, with jigsaw. It's all marked out and things. I'm still a little unsure as to what exactly I'm going to do with the two loading points on the floor. We're going to get this down, put the carpet on, have a bit of a play. But first things first, let's get this cut out so we can start using the actual piece that we're going to use in the van and see if we're happy or not. Apologies, camera died. I didn't realize I was in the zone getting on with it. So floor is now down. Uh, we've cut all the ply out. Uh, it's all screwed down nice and solid. I've carpeted the edge where the step is and I've also carpeted the edges where the uh, loading points are gonna be. So my thinking with that is the carpet I'm putting down is really quite thick, rigid. I'm not gonna be able to do a lot with it. So basically I'm gonna knife it to the edges of it. There's a lot going on in it. I'm then gonna get my stapler and I'm gonna staple around the edge. And I hope that it won't come off. Shouldn't do, I don't think. But that's what we'll try. If that doesn't work, we will put, the only place it's really gonna come off is where you come in through the side door. So if that doesn't work, I'll have to get or make some trim for it, which isn't the end of the world. Um, but for now, that is what I'm doing. The next challenge I've got is trying to cut this carpet to the shape of the van, and as you can see, it's about two metres square. And I've got cut to the shape of the van, and it's really rigid, and I'm not a carpet fitter. But, we shall give it a go. It's the worst it can happen. A little bit of carpet fitting then. Um, you saw when I was uh, time lapse cutting it, I used a level to, as a straight edge with a square on these ribs to make sure that the cut was at 90 degrees to these lines as best as you can do it for OCD purposes really. Um, I've cut it ever so slightly, I think 50 mil oversized. This corner here, this is the widest part of the van right at the end. This corner here, this carpet is, is touching the wall as it wants to be to go down and then here it starts to curl up the wall and then obviously around the arch as well. So, I'm just gonna start cutting and start trimming and see how we can get on and hopefully we can get it down and get it looking half decent. floor done looks absolutely awesome compared to what it was before trim these little holes out like that so I've carpeted the edge of the plywood and then um, put the carpet on top and trimmed out to the hole and I think they look pretty good obviously it comes up to the back of the threshold strip like that and then we've done the same detail here by carpeting the edge of this plywood and bringing the carpet to the edge of it and trimming it back as we have inside hopefully it won't I mean it may lift, but if it does, we'll have to, I'll have to make a trim for it, but I'm pretty happy with it for now. So the floor should be okay, and the fact that I've removed the bulkhead and everything will be okay. I've had people commented saying, you shouldn't remove the bulkhead, you should have, uh, it needs to stay in for safety purposes, things like that. This isn't a work van. This isn't a work van. The most that will be carried in the back of this is a Christmas tree at Christmas, 
a bag of crisps when he's gone to the shop and that'll be about it. This van purely is just a daily driver to chuck crap in every now and then and to take the dog out for a walk. So it really isn't a problem that the bulkhead isn't in. And it's not that like, there's loads of traffic in and out of it every day, kit and things like that. The carpet on the walls will be absolutely fine. Um, if he does put anything dirty in it, I've told him he's got to sheet it up because he's not wrecking my carpet I've just done. But that's that bit done. So now I'm going to get on with carpeting these side panels. Uh, so there's one for there, the one for that side. Then um, we'll look at sorting the doors out and getting them bents done. So clean the bench down, we'll get those carpeted, get them in and move on. There are two panels trimmed for the walls of the van. I've not done anything with the doors yet. Now, you've noticed on these, I've trimmed it and I've not put any clips or anything in them yet. The reason for that is I'm using a different type of clip on the walls. So these are the ones we used in the roof, which go through the panel. These are what I'm using on the walls. Now, these are what are called a hidden trim clip, fixing, whatever they are. And the idea with these is, you put them in after you've trimmed the panel. So if I can get this one out. So in there, we've got the hole that's just there. These, that little leading point goes in first. Push it in, twist it. And there it is, in, ready to clip into the van. Not visible from the back. So the head on these is obviously a lot smaller than the head on these. You never, you still never see these in, the, in there. My proper first T5 was done with these and was trimmed over and you could never see them. The headliner again, that was Alcantara and foam, but I'd use these as well. I just don't trust these on the roof because of driving and I just don't trust them on the roof. I'd rather use these on the roof and I use these on the walls. So we've done the same trick in the van with the soldering iron um, before I carpeted these, put the panels in, soldering iron to melt the carpet. If you don't know what I'm talking about, there's a Click in one of the corners now, link back to episode one, go back to the beginning, watch all the videos and you'll be up to speed and know where we are and what we're talking about. So let's get the clips in this panel and then we'll get these knocked into the van and then make a start on the doors. So yeah, like I say, use the soldering iron trick to pre-melt the carpet into all the holes. So these should line up. Nice and easy, go in. Nice and easy like that. Then I've not got a hammer just to make sure that they're all the way in and as neat as it can be. One, fucking never. And this one, more on this, this one might be a bit of a pain. Because we use the factory panel, the holes line up easily. In. Another little bit ticked off the list. Now that's done, it's time to move on to sorting the rear doors out. We'll start with first. So, first thing we've got to do is sand them all the inside, like we've done in the rest of the van, uh, insulate them, and then we shall carpet um, the panels and clip the panels on on both doors. Now, this door, we're not really going to get a lot of sand ending in because of the lock mechanism, the handle, and all that, lot. Uh, but we'll get it in where we can. Um, and then we'll carpet the panels and get them on. And that's another little bit done. And then the sliding door is the bit where there'll be a little bit more to, to do. We've got to make a panel um, and then work out a way of fixing the panel in. So let's roll on with this, get these bits done, and then we'll move into the exciting bit of the sliding door. There you go, 
Stand in and both insulate in about seven or eight minutes. So they're done, jump on the bench, we'll get those carpeted using the same uh, invisible clips as we've done before to get those on. Um, let's go it. There we go, two trimmed panels with clips in. Knock them in nice and easy again. Finishes them back doors off nicely. So, next thing to roll onto now is the sliding door. So, the thing to sort now is the sliding door. I've made a start uh, the other day on chucking a bit of sand deadening on, but I still need to finish that off. So, we'll finish the bottom off. This bit I was a little undecided on. Um, the back doors are glass, they're not uh, metal, so we've not got to do anything with them. They're tinted glass, so that's, we'll just leave that as it is. This one is obviously metal, um, and I couldn't really decide what I was going to do with this area, but I think now I've decided. I'm going to sand deaden, obviously, that panel um, to reduce wind noise, even though it's already got this big piece on, we'll add more to it. It can only help. Um, and then I'm going to template a ply panel for here. We'll carpet that, and then I'm going to Velcro it on, I believe. Is where my arm was going is the easiest thing I can think of doing to stick it on. It's not, it's, it's got a bit of a curve. Um, we'll give that a go anyway, see if that works. If not, we might just put two choice screws into this metal work here, which isn't the outer skin, it's the framework of the van, and um, they'll just pull it in. I've got some really short screws, so hopefully we don't through the outside of the van. But let's just get it sand deadened um, and then template this, cut it out and see how we think if it's going to bend too much or not. Sound editing, insulation done. Back to the bench, carpet the panel, which I've already pre-cut the carpet for, so it shouldn't take long. There's that sliding door panel on, finishing that off, looking pretty pretty nice. Now I'm going to make a panel for up here, uh, and I haven't got any paper that's big enough, so I've masking taped some pieces of A4 paper together. I'm going to grab myself a magnet, we'll hold it up there and then we'll draw around it. Sharp eight, give it a draw. We're gonna to have to make it perfect, but this is a rough guide of the shape. transfer onto a piece of ply, offer it in and see what we think. Did 
decision has been made then as to how we're going to fix these on. Um, I'm gonna, with this carpet, the beauty of it is, as the glue's sort of still not completely gone off, and the carpet's got a lot going on in it, you can knife it, um, peel it back, put a screw through it, push the carpet back over, and you can't tell the joints there. So let me go and work out where I want these to go. So I've just marked on there, that's how wide the outer frame is that we want to go around. So we know we can be there, so if we go somewhere about there, and there, we should be good at that. Peel this carpet back. Here. Make sure we're happy that the screw we're going to use isn't going to come out the side of the metal work in the van. Job done. And look into the right place. And there we go, panel's on, finished. Nice and curved to the job. I've purposefully left the uh, carpet about that far all the way around so that there's no wood rubbing on the uh, metalwork of the van that it might create a noise as we've done with these as well. Um, so yeah, that's the inside at the back, pretty much done. On a lot of vans, a problem that you'll find is you have a detail like this, where it's there's a um, ply board been screwed on with um, KD blocks. So that's on there, the KD block screwed that way to hold that panel into place. Now that does a job and it's fine, but what I like to do is get yourself a drill, drill the hole out. In this case, it's eight mil. Knock yourself one of your leftover trim clips in. And it just finishes it off a little neater than having those horrible holes in there. Because there isn't really a lot else you can do other than fill it, paint it. And we can't be doing things like that. And the inside that just neatens it and tidies it up that little bit and makes it look nicer. There it is then guys, all done. Walls all finished, looking nice. Ceiling all looking good. Uh, B pillars, obviously we trimmed the bulkhead to make those. All that walls done, arches, nice flooring down. And then a nice bit of trim on that side as well. Doors are looking good and all, that's about all we can do with them. I'm well happy with how that sound out. Looks absolutely mega. Little bit of carpet and a little bit of time makes such a difference to these vans, it really does. Some people will say it makes them less usable. I don't think it does at all. You still got a van. You still got. You've got more load space now than you had before by taking that bulkhead out. Yeah, all right. Having things rolling around in the back is not the best if you're in an accident or something. But that's how I choose to drive it, and that's how we've done this one. That is that episode wrapped up. All sorted. All looking good. Hopefully he likes it. I think he will. It looks much better. Hopefully when he drives it, obviously it'll be a lot quieter than it was before as well. We put plenty of sand bending in it. As it is now, I think I've got one sheet left. So it's had 79 sheets of the 2mm Dodo Hex sand deadening, which I'll put a link in the description to, to HQ's website. Um, maybe overkill, I don't know. Um, I've had some people comment saying, uh, do you have to take into consideration the amount of weight that the material is? Now, if you were converting this into a camper van, 
yeah, you're going to have to take that into consideration because these can't carry a lot of weight from what I've read. Um, we've not got to worry about that. This isn't a work van. This isn't a carrying a lot of weight all the time. This is normally it's got one person in it. it we've really not got to worry about it. I was more worried about making it quieter um, than the weight. So I hope you've enjoyed this. It's something a little different to obviously the, the main content we've been putting out with the Golf. If you don't already, do please consider clicking subscribe to subscribe to the channel. Click the little bell to get a notification of when a new video is posted. If you are already, thank you so much. And if you don't, please do consider also liking the videos and commenting on the videos as well. All of that helps massively within YouTube's algorithm for getting us out there to people that haven't already seen us and helps to grow the channel. I've got some big plans for the channel. Um, hopefully it can get to a size of where we can do most of them. If you haven't already, hit up my new website, dacind.com, where I've got all of my merchandise for sale on there. Every bit of merchandise you buy helps support the channel and helps me to create content that hopefully you guys enjoy watching. That was going to be the end of the project. But having done all this and spoken to my stepfather earlier in the week, we've decided we're going to do a little bit more to the inside. So that will be in tomorrow's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, enjoy.